Greetings folks, I have some more ELRS receivers to show you today. Uh, these are Radio Master PWM receivers, the ER5A and the ER5C. The difference between the two, uh, they say the ER5A is designed for aircraft and the ER5C is designed for cars or surface vehicles and boats. And I think it's just the orientation of the antennas and the pins that uh, make the difference. You could use either for the other use, I'm pretty sure. So they're five channel PWM. Uh, ELRS2 is loaded by default, which gives you four proportional channels and one uh, switch channel, channel five. Um, I have actually loaded ELRS3 on this one here. So with ELRS3, we get actually get um, five fully proportional channels. Power supply, they can handle 4.5 to 8.4 volts, so up to 2S straight into the receiver, as long as your other gear, like your servos, can handle 2S. Uh, we get a couple of antennas for each of them, a shorter one that's already mounted and uh, a longer one, just the IPEX connector, so you can open up the case and switch out your antennas. So this means you can use the wonderful ELRS long range protocol uh, and not need a flight control board, just uh, fly your normal park flyers with it and uh, have incredible range. Well, you're probably only going to do line of sight with park flyers, but uh, you can use the same radio for long range as well as normal flying. Now, as I said, I've loaded ELRS 3 onto the uh, ER5C, so I'll just show you that connecting up to my Zorro. This is the Zorro ELRS. I have also loaded ELRS 3 onto the Zorro. So we had the five channels plus a, a battery uh, port there, which is nice. Plug in the servo. And there we go, just uh, channel two elevator working as you would expect from a PWM receiver. With this version of ELRS3, I've also included a passphrase so we don't need to bind the receiver to the transmitter as long as the passphrases are identical, they're already connected. So ELRS3, five proportional channels and passphrase included. Great stuff. So I'll just show you uh, with the I'll turn the radio off. So this is the ER5A. I haven't yet updated that to ELRS3, so that is just on ELRS4 uh, 2. Uh, now for binding, this one doesn't have a passphrase on it, as far as I know. So uh, we would buy we would bind in the traditional method. And to bind in the traditional method, which I won't be able to actually do with this radio, seeing I've, I've already flashed it, uh, but we power up three times in quick succession and we get that double flash sequence which shows us that we're in bind mode and on the transmitter if this was on ELRS2 you would go to the ELRS uh, script scroll down to bind hit bind and then your receiver would be bound uh, now as I said I can't actually demonstrate it with this particular firmware combination but I am going to change this to ELRS3. So ELRS is becoming more and more accessible for general use with uh, Radio Master producing these wonderful five channel PWM receivers. And if you can get your head around upgrading to ELRS3, you get even more functionality with uh, five fully proportional channels. Great stuff. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time.